gravitational waves have been observed for the fourth time bringing new insight into the fabric of the universe. The discovery has an important first too. It was the first time gravitational waves were detected by three observatories instead of two. Having three detectors reduced the area of sky where the signal could originate from by about ten times. It also gave scientists a new way to test relativity. The gravitational waves were produced by a 30.5 solar masses black hole merging with a 25 solar masses one. This merger happened about 1.8 billion light years from Earth, and the resultant black hole has a mass equivalent to 53 times our Sunday therefore energy released by the cosmic collision is about three times the mass of the Sunday black hole masses compared to estimated masses from X-ray studies. Ligand merger is the second largest ever detected and provides more confirmation that medium-sized black holes, bigger than those produced in supernovae, are common in the universe. But gravitational waves help us understand more than just black holes. The detection provided the opportunity to test more predictions of Einstein's general relativity. For example, our gravitational waves polarized polarization describes how spacetime is stretched in three dimensions by the propagation of gravitational waves. The researchers looked at two extreme scenarios the polarization predicted by Einstein versus the polarization forbidden in general relativity. So far, the data agree with Einstein, but further analysis might provide a more nuanced picture. This sort of analysis wasn't possible using the two LIGO detectors, one located in Hanford, Washington and the other in Livingston, Louisiana. The Virgo detector, however, is located in Italy and has a different orientation with respect to the Earth, allowing for this new test of general relativity. The Virgo collaboration and the LIGO scientific collaboration have been working together for many years to analyze the data and extract precious information from the observed signals. A three-detector network opens up a new potential, allowing further fundamental tests of theoretical predictions, said Frederick Marion, a senior scientist who worked on the analysis, in a statement. The localization maps using just the LIGO detectors compared to when all three observatories are used. LIGO A lot of people were hoping that the detectors had caught gravitational waves from neutron stars and that the team was able to catch a bright flash of light from the collision. This wasn't the case. But the three detectors are better at triangulating so, if this chance arises they will probably be ready. The next run of observations is planned to start in the fall of 2018. The three detectors will now undergo some tweaking that will hopefully improve their sensitivity by a factor of two.